Hello, I'm Dan Clark, and this is another episode in my board governance series. Talk about board meetings for a minute. What should be on the agenda? What's your responsibility as a leader of a nonprofit organization? Is it just this month's performance and the current status of the organization? Or are you accountable for making sure that you remain successful for the generations and decades to come? I say the latter, of course, because performing well last month and having no plan for the years to come, how is that meeting the duty of care? How is that being loyal to the company? It's not. Now, as a consultant, I do a lot of things to help us examine what we do. And I believe in the idea that leaders challenge the status quo. So let me challenge your status quo. Think about recent board meetings. And if you could have a journal with two sides on it, one is forward-looking discussion, and one is discussion about historical data. Which would be the heaviest in terms of the minutes discussed, the time taken? It's a precious time when you have a face-to-face -face meeting, and I believe you should get all that you can out of it. And rehearsing and reading historical data to one another to me, is not real good use of FaceTime. Have your historical material delivered ahead of time. Study and read that. Don't waste any FaceTime discussing that stuff. Absorb it and use it to move ahead. I wanted to figure out how, how, how can we talk about how much time should we spend forward versus rearward. So I looked in the driveway. Two automobiles that I owned at the time, I went out and measured the windshield and the rear view mirrors from up in the middle. And I calculated the square inches. So what do you think the difference is between the windshield square inches and the rear view mirror square inches? Well, it averaged out to 20 to 1. Therefore, if if, if we're going to take driving as a metaphor for driving on the street and driving an organization, then think with me about this. The windshield is where through which we as drivers of a car protect ourselves and everybody around us and everybody that's on board. And that's very similar to what a governing director or trustee should be appertaining to. So make sure that you have for every 20 minutes that you discuss and debate the future of your company in decades and generations ahead, you get from me one minute to verbalize and discuss the historical data, 20 to 1. So out of a one hour business meeting from gavel to gavel, 57 minutes on the future of the company, three minutes, if you have to, discussing historical data. Now, if you have financial difficulties, if you have trouble, if the status of the company is, is, does not say we're viable, then yes, that's an important topic. That's okay. But if things are rolling along pretty good, you do not need to discuss how we did last month and the month before, or even the quarter. You've got the financial reports to read them. Now let's use this FaceTime, this valuable FaceTime, to discuss how this company is going to serve its constituents and its communities in the forward, in the long term generations, at least decades. I'm Dan Clark. Visit me at danclark.com.